we're about to climb the Acropolis. Are you ready to join us? I mean, we're just, we've been waiting for this for so long. So here we go. Nick, are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready, guys. Thank you so much for joining in. Uh, as you can see right behind us up there, all the way up that hill, that's where we're going. And uh, let's start our trek. Yes. The actual doorway in, and it looks like uh, just at the top of the stairs here is uh, where you pay to get in. You may be able, once you purchase a ticket, to enter and exit, but I don't know that for sure because we keep seeing the same people going back and forth. <laughs> Thank you. Well, we uh, got our tickets. Uh, they were 12 euros each, and I believe that um, it is free for children under 12. And uh, just to let you know, we had a plan to uh, fly the drone here as well, but uh, big sign on the front window <laughs> said no drones. So. Hopefully I can get some uh, great footage. Uh, maybe I'll climb up a side of a mountain here and get some uh, footage from the top. You're not climbing up a mountain. Oh, why not? For our viewers, I'll climb up a side of a mountain. So they have uh, new technologies here in Greece where everything's QR codes, uh, but it does hold up the lines uh, if they don't scan right away. Thank you. Okay, guys, we are in. We are in to the... Do you have the tickets? Yeah. We are into the famous Acropolis of Lindos. Um, we're going to try and take you around as much as we can. Uh, it is a fairly large structure. It's just going to go directly to the left of the entrance. And uh, let's get you some shots of the view up here is wow. Oh, wow. Gorgeous. Okay. Wow. So I am energized. <laughs> so we're going to try to explain as much as we possibly can here. So guys, again, I'm going to let you know that there, there's rocks jutting out of the ground here. Um, so you have to be very, very careful. And, whoa, that was, uh, so that's interesting. This is only that high. And uh, the drop is uh, quite steep. Quite steep. So um, if you do bring children here, hold them by their hands, uh, you know, this is um, a little dangerous. I'm surprised they don't have uh, little fences on the side. I mean, one wrong step, you trip a little bit and uh, you're off. And there's Lindos Beach down at the bottom there. Okay. I'm just going to swing over here and show you. We're going to go up there in a second. Yeah, the caves, the caves are absolutely amazing as well. I wish we were allowed to uh, go up there and explore that as well, but uh, they are fenced off or roped off. Okay. okay. Look at this, guys. I mean, come on, for for this many hundreds of years old and still to be uh, looking this great. This ship was carved out and actually in that crevice 
right there uh, stood a huge bronze statue commemorating the uh, victory the Rhodians had, uh, a huge naval battle that they had. Really? Yeah. I mean, I, I wish that we could sort of translate what that said there, but again, it's probably uh, uh, talking about the actual naval battle. Look at this rock. Look at it's like marble. Yeah, it's all marble. It's all carved into marble. This is, I mean, it, it's carved right into the side of the mountain. And now we have to um, go up the stairs. Now, what I love about all uh, Greek uh, ruins and stuff like that is a safety first. So, um, notice the uh, lack of handrails. We have a wall. Oh, you got the wall. Okay, grip the wall. And actually, the stairs are very well done. Okay. Wow. 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 I'm going to say that wow a lot. So these are all the bases for all the statues that stood. They moved them all here to keep them safe from the elements. The writing on them is still there from hundreds of years ago. And that's a solid piece of marble. It's carved off out of, could you imagine being the guy carving that out and making a mistake on one of the letters? <laughs> No whiteout, no autocorrect. Wow. Wow, I'm turning around here, guys. This is... I hope you can see the grandeur in this place. I'll try and climb up there in a second. How do you not? come to the Acropolis when visiting Indos. The rock formations, the history. Look at how many tourists come from all over the world. You have to be the next. So all these are natural rocks that just were here that they didn't carve out. Uh, obviously the path we're on right now was poured recently uh, to make it a little bit easier for the tourists to come and visit. Uh, this, the rocks are very slippery. Uh, so you just gotta be careful, but um, yeah, there are, there are some steps that are carved out. This is like rock climbing, period. <laughs> oh, my calves are gonna feel this. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad that we came. Me too. Okay, let me see if I can zoom in on this a little bit here. Absolutely amazing. It's 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 amazing that they built it, and it's amazing that it's still here. Shall we take a? Guys. As I said, I, I wish there was more placards or uh, information so I can explain a little bit more of this to you. Um, it's absolutely stunning. Okay, continuing our walk up. Um, we're trying to be a little bit extra careful here. There's uh, no clear path. Uh, I want you to take a look at this. This is a footprint. A statue stood on that. And then if you look over here as well, there's another one, another indent there with two feet. And another. And another. These are all bases to statues, uh, which is just amazing. And, and they're letting everybody just sort of walk on them. Um, I guess there's just so many of them that they can't uh, take them all away. Here's another one uh, with uh, smaller feet. 
and you actually see the toe indents in there as well. This could have been the minnowins, honey. They did have small feet. And these are all basic, these are all, it's just unbelievable how this is. Now we're gonna, we're gonna try to. We've got 2022 stairs. And uh, we're gonna head up the uh, metal stairs and uh, they're very slippery. Very, very slippery. And guys, look at this. And we thought what we were seeing was, was incredible. Now look at this. And uh, we were just down there making the climb up. Yeah, the, the actual steps. Oh, look. Yeah, you got the St. James, St. No, St. Paul's Bay. Yeah. <laughs> How hot is it? So hot that this didn't even go in my mouth. It actually went all over me. <laughs> Guys, look at the view here. If you can see, I don't know, you can see down there. There's a bus. That was the uh, square we started off at. And we walked all the way through all of these little houses to up the hill here. Uh, well worth it. Um, the sun is beating down on us here. But uh, if you can see what we're looking at here, I, I hope we captured um, this place here. It's magical. It's beautiful. It looks like it's the remnants of an old church here, I believe. Yep. Okay. This is the church of Ayos Ioannis, which is uh, St. John. Yeah, they've added brick and little bits of mortar in there to keep the walls intact. And again, uh, more marble, just hand carved. Absolutely perfect. This was the ground. On the floor that was inside the church. Incredible. Okay. 
pipe. Yeah, the, the marble I understand. The metal pipe I don't. <laughs> Well, that's very interesting. Right? Um, I don't know, but it, it has been carved out. So a lot of uh, more marble bases. There's just a ton of them here. Um, they must have had hundreds of statues. I think we're going inside, guys. Um, now, it's, it, it's funny, if, if you were in Canada or the United States and you were going inside somewhere, I would say you would find a gift shop. But here... Look at this. This is, um, you can always come back to Oh, 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 Viv, Viv found another way. Oh, there's a rope. Okay. But it looks like somebody's staying here. Look, I mean. But look, they put those yeah, pipes through. They're holding it all up there. You see how moldy it is, which means water's running through somehow. Yeah. With the, with the uh, humidity. I mean, this, this is how they're preserving the items here. I'm going to start and zoom in on that there. Look at the carvings. Wow. Okay, so we came through that That's right. and went up that way. That's right. So, so we got to go back this way. So we, uh, even though we're walking and recording here, we're uh, also looking down at the ground to make sure we're sure-footed. I love this. I absolutely love this. This was uh, not only the Greeks, but also the Romans and the Turks, the Italians, the Ottomans all had a, a part in creating um, this wonderful, wonderful place. Okay. Oh my God, seriously. I'm not you're, not, go, no, you're not going I'm down I'm not going there. down, but I'll just right here. So there's a staircase here that leads to um, the end of a cliff. Okay, so I'd love you to take a photo with that behind me. Or just take footage. But literally, you can get on there. Really? Yeah. <laughs> There's no rope. So that means people are going through that. Oh, yeah. zoom in so if you're coming into Lindos the, the main highway is right there uh, and then you go down you drive down into Lindos 
uh, go around a little roundabout and there's uh, the great thing is there's people guiding you to where to park um, there is plenty of free parking but uh, if you can't find free parking I believe parking for the whole day is only five euros Well, we're going down the stairs. We're leaving uh, the Acropolis of Lindos. Um, what an amazing experience that was. I'm glad you guys joined us. Um, Woo. Wow. I think it's time for some lunch, Nick. Yeah. Yeah, let's... Uh, oh, where'd you go? There I you are. I just... I pooped. <laughs> just like we said in the beginning of the video with that donkey stuff, but... No, we're, w this was well worth every trickle of sweat. <laughs> um, Nick, uh, <laughs> I would do this a thousand times over and over again. If you do guys, uh, if, you, if you do guys do come uh, to uh, Lindos here, uh, please check out the Acropolis. Uh, it was well worth it. Please uh, plan to spend at least an hour to two hours uh, looking around. Uh, it is hot. Wear a hat, sunglasses, bring your sunblock, of course, Lots of aqua. and bring water. Once you get inside, there are no kiosks. There is nowhere to buy water or anything like that. And use the washroom before you get in here because you'll definitely be up here for a few hours or longer, as Nick mentioned. Absolutely. Again, we are Nick and Viv from Perpato with Envy. We want to thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Woo! In the next adventure. Make sure to check out part three of our Lindos series, where we take you back down the hill, totally get lost, end up on the beach, and have a fantastic lunch.